I'd like to start tonight with uh, a tribute to uh, an individual in our community that passed away today. And I'd like to re uh, read this brief statement and then we'll have a moment of silence. The Owensboro Board of Education expresses their sympathies, their thoughts, and prayers to Senator Ford's family upon his passing today. His presence in our community will be missed every day. Senator Ford was a staunch supporter of education and of the Owensboro Public Schools. I would ask at this time for a minute of silence, please. Thank you. First, I'd like to have uh, Dr. Bray. Uh, he's going to give us our superintendent's report and a proclamation. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Welcome to everybody to our January board meeting. A couple of just quick announcements to make. Uh, first of all, you may have heard. If you haven't heard, I'll announce and we'll try to publicize this the best we can through our social media and our step-in newsletter. Uh, but we will be uh, making up the snow day that we had back in November. It's hard to remember that we had a snow day in November, but that day will be made up on February 13th. Uh, the good news is that we are, um, we are going to continue to have the 16th, which is the President's Day holiday of February, as a day off. So we will have no school on February 16th at Monday, but we will have school in session on the 13th. So. Uh, just make note to your calendars that uh, we're going to make one of those days up and hopefully knock on wood the weather will cooperate and we'll get through uh, this winter uh, uh, along the same train that we're following with uh, little if no uh, days off for snow and, and bad weather. Uh, also just a couple of announcements. Um, on uh, Monday we will be holding a news conference for uh, um, an announcement that we're going to make with some business partnerships through our Owensboro Reads Literacy Program. Uh, we're going to be uh, announcing some partnerships with uh, six area financial institutions and the Owensboro Messenger Inquirer, as well as the Davis County Public Library. So uh, stay tuned for some, some good news about uh, how those businesses are going to be supporting literacy efforts that we have in our, in our schools. Um, we also will be on February 5th introducing to the community the, uh, the new class of 106 freshmen from the Owensboro Innovation Academy, which is our new tech school that's going to be opening next year. Um, and so that is uh, certainly exciting. That's going to be at the River Park Center at 5 o'clock. It's open to the public. Uh, tonight on the agenda, we will be, uh, uh, the board will be considering the, the approval of our agreement with the new tech network, which is a national network of 134 schools. After tonight, we hope to be the 135th school in that network. Um, and the first in Kentucky. So we're excited about paving uh, the new way uh, in this state uh, with the innovation work that's going to happen in this new, new school. Um, we are also tonight uh, approving a new waiver that will uh, help us uh, create some uh, exciting new options for students at the high school, particularly uh, as the state announces a new diploma, a bluegrass diploma through Kentucky Rising uh, we'll give our school sort of a heads up uh, and, and uh, the ability to, to really uh, reconfigure things for our high school students as they uh, uh, achieve college and career readiness. Um, also, uh, with, with, uh, later tonight, if you stick around right after our initial uh, uh, recognition of students, we're going to be unveiling a dis district portrait that Mr. K.L. Lewis, who's with us tonight, uh, did for us, and uh, that's uh, an exciting thing. Uh, speaking of artwork, the artwork in the boardroom is new this month. It's from Faust Elementary School, so call your attention to that. And thank uh, Ms. Mosley and the students of Faust for uh, uh, beautifying our boardroom. Uh, and then lastly, I have a uh, proclamation to read, and I certainly want to be, um, hopefully not the first this month, to uh, recognize and, and thank you all as our Board of Education. Uh, this is the official board recognition month. Our schools have provided you with some just small tokens of appreciation. Mr. Sims, our student body president at OHS, uh, gave you a towel. We have uh, some coffee mugs and uh, gifts from uh, our high school and middle school and then some notes from our students at the elementary school. So uh, we certainly are blessed to have a caring uh, and bold board of education that's willing to 
um, match the innovation that we see in our schools with the kind of decisions that you make to support us. Um, so to whom all this presence shall come, whereas the great resource of this or any community is its people, and from that resource comes an element vital to the community's future, the success of its children, and whereas that success depends largely on those children being able to amass knowledge and skills that will aid in their individual development and advancement in life, and whereas our Owensboro Public Schools are an integral element in our children's development through excellence in the classroom instruction and life lessons about citizenship and involvement, and whereas key players in a well-operated effective public school system are the community representatives who are elected to the Board of Education, and whereas John Blaney, Nancy Eskridge, Dan Griffith, Steve Knight, Kate Lozon have proven themselves as dedicated advocates for a safe learning environment for their students and for professional growth for their faculty and staff, and whereas January 2015 marks Kentucky's participation in a multi-state observation of the continuing contributions by these outstanding local leaders and their peers elsewhere. Therefore, I, Nicholas Brake, Superintendent, do hereby urge all citizens to honor John Blaney, Nancy, Gr Nancy Eskridge, Dan Griffith, Steve Knight, and Kate Lozon for their devotion to, a, to the shared goal of a better life for our children and our future leaders. Uh, my signature on this day is Superintendent. Thank you all again for your service and for Most of you are here for. Uh, first uh, group we're going to recognize tonight is the Owensboro High School KYA Delegation of Excellence, presented by Principal Anita Burnett. Mr. Bettingfield is the sponsor of this group, and he could not be here this evening because he's our swim coach. And so he's at a swim meet, and also some of our students that could be here and we would like to recognize are also swimming. So um, they're multi-talented. But I, I was happy to do this in his place, and um, I'm going to read just a few things he said. But one of the things that he really wanted me to talk about was not all about their winning and how well they did but also all the compliments that we received as a school because of not only of their quality of work but their composure and their compassion for their fellow students so uh, they made a very good impression at the uh, Kentucky Youth Assembly this year um, our students um, uh, shined in the in, and I'm going to read what he put in our email that I used uh, uh, earlier this year the students shine individually as an, and as an entire delegation in several categories. They um, presented a bill, an act to establish proper assessment and placement of refugee students, and uh, it received one of the highest rankings, ensuring that it was put on the Senate docket for uh, the following day. Uh, seniors Michael Dow and Joseph Hunt and junior Anna Caroline Brake presented that bill. They wrote it and presented it and it passed the Senate and passed the House um, with no opposition and then the KYA governor signed that into law. Um, so uh, we were very honored. And the 20, 20 year staff members at KYA share with Mr. Bettingfield it's been at least 20 years since we've had a bill that has uh, gone that far. So that is really a compliment to this group of students. Um, junior Anna Carol Brake is not here. She is at another event, but she was selected as outstanding delegate, and senior Joseph Hunt uh, <laughs> was uh, named outstanding speaker, and our delegation was named a delegation of excellence. So um, they really deserve a round of applause because they really represented us. Do we want to present certificates? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, freshman, we have Nicholas Bright. Congratulations. Uh, 10th grade, Lily Hall is not here because she's swimming. Lauren Russell is here. She's right here. Sorry. Would it be better to go in order of what you have? Mm -hmm. 
Let's do this where we're supposed to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't know. No, they're okay. alphabetical. Okay. Maddie Decker. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, Michael Dow. Michael's here. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Lily Hall is not here. Lily's swimming. Huh? Lily's swimming. Okay. And Janae Harden. Janae is here. Congratulations. Thank you. Joseph Hunt. Congratulations. Carmela Kelly. Did I pronounce it right? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Crystal Lamar. Swimming. 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 Mary Kate. Congratulations. Thank you. Dana Matthew. Dana's here. Thank you. Salem Mintz. Salem Mintz. Congratulations. And Will Sims. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. And Bradley. She's swimming. All right. Okay. I think we have You have to have a picture. Thank you. They did a great job. Our next presentation is the 2015 All-State Course, presented by Jennifer Wiggins, OHS Choral Director. Music Educators Association holds an in-service conference in all state each year the first week of February in Louisville and it's a very competitive um, choir to get into for the seventh through ninth graders there are two different choirs that you can be selected for one is a mixed chorus soprano alto tenor bass one is a treble chorus soprano one soprano two alto there are thousands of auditions that come through across the state and they only select up to 200. Some years it's not even that many. So it's a huge honor to be selected for this uh, All-State Chorus. And this year from Owensboro Middle School North, Katie Kellums, who is an eighth grader, was selected for the treble choir. So I'm very proud of her and the work that she is putting into this because it's a huge honor and a huge commitment to this too. And then I had some ninth graders. It's the seventh through ninth grade choir. And my ninth graders are Autumn Stoley and Kennedy McCollum, who couldn't be here tonight, and Austin Adams and Caleb Wiggins. So those are the members of the. Yeah. 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 Okay, Austin. That's all right. There. Congratulations. And Kennedy. On the end. And I have to add that this is Caleb Wiggins' fifth year going to Allstate. Good job. Caleb. He grew. <laughs> Got it, Kurt. He did. He did. He did. He did. He did. All right. And he's going to be right here. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. And that's not this is, yeah. yeah, I know, but you don't. You yeah, you did, 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 did okay, that? so the, the other choir for Allstate is the high school choir. It's 10th through 12th grade. It's a very tough audition. Um, we have probably over 2,000 kids in the state that audition. They have to sing in an a cappella quartet without any accompaniment. And then they have to go into a room and they're given a piece of music they've never seen before and they have to sing it. Um, so it's a very difficult thing for them to get into. They have three choirs. And we are very proud to have two of the high school students selected for that choir. First is Julian Vickers. This is his first year in Allstate. And then John Thomas Pryor, which is his third year. You can only go three years. His third year in the KMEA Allstate. So they'll be joining the men's choir, which is my favorite. And I'm singing in February with everyone else. So congratulations. Explain how rigorous going to state is, how many rehearsals, and just yeah. how hard they were the professionals. When they're there, they rehearse. We start at um, <laughs> right after lunch on a Wednesday, and the the junior high all state choirs will rehearse about eight hours a day. 
Um, and they rehearse all day until like nine o'clock um, on Wednesday night, and then they get up and start again at 8.30 the next morning, and they perform that night. So eight to nine hours of rehearsal time a day, easy. The high schoolers have an added day of that. So they go from, they have lunch and dinner breaks, but they go from nine in the morning till nine at night. So they work very hard when they're there. Very, very hard. Picture. Picture. It's, it's not much of a surprise as you just saw and if you know you, you pay attention to all the things happening in our school district we've been recognized by groups like the National School Boards Association the Kennedy Center National Endowment for the Arts as being a an exemplary district in the arts so we decided that we needed to to have a painting that um, really displayed the spirit of what we were as a school district top to bottom so we gave, not only do we have talented students in the arts, but as you see with Ms. Wiggins and Ms. Meyer and others that uh, visit us at the board meetings, we have just as many talented artists on our staff that work with our students. And that's really what it takes for us to be a talented arts district. So we took one such artist and gave him the challenge of creating a visual uh, painting that encompasses who we are as a district and we want to use this print in a lot of things that we're going to do. Uh, one of the things is we're going to use it for retirees. Uh, give them the option to have this as a framed uh, framed portrait uh, that recognizes the school district. We'll use it for lots of other things. Uh, K.O. Lewis is a teacher at Onsport High School and an artist. An artist that uh, has sells his his wares, and I'm sure he can tell you how to how to find that. But uh, he took the challenge uh, that we gave him and produced a fine uh, a piece of art that uh, I think you'll be excited to see. So, Kato, you want to take one side and unveil this uh, artist or this rendering of our students. It took him a lot of time, a lot of detail, a lot of thought, and we just have a little token of appreciation and thank you again for your work. I appreciate it. Come around and let you see it if you guys uh, here.